This is wild country up here. It's the most remote we've ever been with the travel cabin. We are on the border with Canada, way up north, and uh, super stoked to be here. Good morning, Olivia. <laughs> Do you like some coffee? <laughs> it is super buggy outside right now and I can attest to that <laughs> looking outside the cabin it doesn't look buggy to me like I don't see any bugs flying around but he said it's horrible so we are going to bundle her to the brim and just keep her safe from all the gross buggies yeah all right and then back of my hair is covered all right let's go Super mom here. So this waterfall is not off of any sort of trail. And what that means is uh, we gotta be careful. Make sure that we know where we're going. Thankfully I have GPS. Um, so I'll be able to find our way back. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna walk down to the lake, check that out, and then I'll take Ellie down to the waterfall. I am someone, I, I'm sure I've said this on the channel before, but I really struggle with anxiety. Um, and this is a challenge for me. I love the outdoors, but living in California, there was not bugs like this. I mean, that I noticed. Um, I didn't notice as many ticks. And so, yeah, it's just, I'm just adjusting. And, you know, just being very authentic with you guys, working through some anxiety. So this is the lake, you guys. Uh, it's a small little lake, but it is absolutely gorgeous. It also has an island right there, which is just so pretty. I mean, look at all those pine trees on it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Yay, Ellie! Good job, Elle. Good job. <laughs> gosh, that's cute. Oh yeah. Oh, Baba. I'm gonna get the AC going. All right, it will cool off in no time. All right, let's go to this waterfall. All right, so where Ellie is going, that's down towards where I think the waterfall is. Um, it's very steep up here. And something that I just want to note is that when you're this far out, you got to be really, really careful because mistakes can be deadly, honestly. There's the waterfall right there. 
Now again, this, where I'm pointing the camera, is a ledge that drops off 20 to 30 feet down to where the stream is. So I gotta be really careful making my way down. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go this way and wind down to the waterfall like that. Oh, wow. So from here, guys, you can see how steep that cliff is. I mean, it's a sheer drop down into the stream. And if you weren't careful and you were hiking up there, you could easily plummet off of that. But check it out. Here's the waterfall. Unbelievable. Ellie is so hardcore. <laughs> she really is. What do you think of it, Elle? You go in? You gotta go in, Elle. You gotta get in. Good job, good job. I wish I could go in, the bugs would destroy me. Something like this would be worth like a two mile hike, if not more, and it'd be packed with people. But here it is just for us. That's the benefit of going off the beaten path. Was it pretty awesome? It was incredible. Like, incredible. It's definitely good we didn't bring Olivia because uh, it wouldn't have been safe Is it a for her. Oh, it's thick and it's slick. And, oh, man. But it's incredible. All right. Rye's going to embark on a mission to brush her teeth. Wish me luck, guys. You know, I'm never one to uh, not brush my teeth, even when camping. I just, uh, it's one of my pet peeves. <laughs> Woohoo! I made it. Nice and clean. So you're gonna go kayaking? Yep. I'm gonna go check out the lake. and quiet out here it was just uh, it's wonderful whoa a turtle Oh, that was cool. All right. Wow, it is thick. Wow. Look at this. can't believe we are out on this island right now and that there's like a forest out here. I mean, this is like super thick, super pretty. We've got a few big trees. Oh. A practice that I've had for years is, uh, especially when I'm out by myself, is to uh, stop 
and just take a moment to give thanks. The fact that, you know, my wife and daughter and my uh, sweet little Ellie are, um, you know, just over yonder in our cabin. Like, it's really special. Guys, the flies are so bad. They really get to you after a while. Fire helps a little bit. Problem is we're gonna keep this fire real small. This is something that I've loved to do my whole life. And uh, it's always been important to me to, to carry this on, you know, into my family life. But uh, it's hard. The stuff you guys don't see on camera is like trying to clean bottles and having Olivia crying hysterically and me trying to do something while Riley's trying to do something and uh, we're struggling to hold it together and the memories we're creating they outweigh the tough stuff but sometimes it doesn't feel like it I give ourselves a lot of credit though yeah um, and it's stretching us it's growing us yeah it definitely is and it's definitely growing our patience. For sure. Yeah. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Do you sleep well? The fam is all here. <laughs> yeah, that was cool hearing the rain last night. Mm -hmm. Today, 
So we're going to start off by hiking out to this plane crash, are we? So we're going to do that after we make a little breakfast. Come on, Ellie. All right, guys, so the site of the crash is not on any map. I've never been, but uh, I have the GPS coordinates, and so I'm going ahead to scout it out to make sure that it's doable for Riley and Olivia. As of now, I don't think there's any way. It is just too thick. Oh boy. So we've got a little pond here. I'm about halfway there right now. So I think what I need to do is skirt around this. And it's somewhere off that way. Ellie is an absolute champ. <laughs> she is like the best partner for this. <laughs> Wow, that is from a moose. Man, is that cool. Moose, believe it or not, are actually pretty dangerous. Now, they don't go out of their way to like hurt humans, but if you are a threat to them, they can, they can kill you for sure. That right there is amazing. Looks like we've come to another bog. It says the crash is like right over here. What in the world? Whoa! It's over my boots. Oh no. Oh. Oh boy. Basically what's happened is my one map, which is like a really good map, is saying the crash is in the middle of the pond back there, which I know is not true. And then just plain ugh, Google Maps is saying it's off that way when I type in the coordinates. I don't have the luxury of, of just like spending too long doing this because Riley and Olivia are waiting for me. We're gonna hike back and uh, see if I can find some more information on this and uh, pinpoint it. And if it seems doable, we'll give it another try. Hop on in, in you go. Yeah, I went, oh my gosh, you guys never could have done that. If, if it is where the coordinates say it is, and I got to the point where it is, and it was saying it's in the middle of the pond, which is not true. So it's like, maybe it the is coordinates are off. Back there, I, here's what I think. I think it's, I think it's closer to the road. You look like you work for the National Park Service. <laughs> Mosquitoes be biting. I don't want her to get bit, so hurry. I am nervous. The coordinates that we had were very off. I'm confident that this is going to lead us where we need to go. Here it is. Unbelievable. You see the clothing right here? Yeah. This is someone's pair of pants right here. Man, 
That's so sad. So you can tell that this is the main part of the aircraft right here. Um, I can only assume that the prop was on this side. You can look, there's just tons of wires that are still perfectly intact here. I think this is the wing right here. It's really wild seeing this, you know. I've, I've flown in planes just like this in Cessnas um, into really remote places like the Arctic Circle. And uh, it just shows how, you know, under the, the wrong conditions, things can go really, really bad. Really cranky. I don't know if she's getting bit. I can't really tell. Okay. Oh, sweetie. Yeah. It's but this okay. is this is remarkable. I have the chills. Well, there you have it. What a thing to experience, you know. Way up here on the border of Canada. You guys have a moose. Holy cow, that thing is massive. Oh my gosh, there he goes. Wow, he dipped out. That was so cool. I was like, is that a horse in the road? <laughs> Riley literally was just like, what's in the road? And it was a moose. You know, up here, this is one of the last remaining sanctuaries for moose in the state of Minnesota, which is really, really cool. I've never seen one up here, so that's a first. You guys, we now have a fox. There it goes. <laughs> wow. Oh, oh goes. hold on, let's see. Man, that's awesome. So we've seen a moose and a fox. <laughs> <laughs> In the span of 10 minutes. It's <laughs> incredible. I wonder what else we'll see. Yeah, I'm just gonna have my phone ready. Yeah, next we need a bear. So it's great, it's amazing. It's absolutely beautiful. The only thing 
that has been really difficult and I know it's just this time of year, the bugs. The bugs like are so bad. They're bad, like swarming around your face. There's like so. three different types of bugs too. You've got like the flies, you've got mosquitoes, you've got ticks. It's been an adjustment. This is the life. I know we're always active and doing stuff, but um, part of uh, cabin life is just relaxing. <sighs> That's what I'm doing. Feels great. You enjoy that relaxing, Ricky Bobby? <sighs> Allie, what do you see? You having fun? Oh, here she comes. What up, Belle? How's the Sammy witch? It's great. Good. I made it with love. That's why it tastes so delicious. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> here we go. Feels good once you're in. Feels very good. Goodbye. I'm gonna swim to Canada. <laughs> Sounds good. Man, what a what a beautiful spot. Honestly, does it get much better than this? Swim out to me. Yeah, come on, girl. Oh, what a sweet doggy. Isn't this incredible? Oh. All right, you can swim back to shore. Oh. Pretty great. You're gonna take the kayak? Yeah. Okay. This is incredible. Oh my gosh, I love this so much. I'm gonna stop off right here. I'm so curious to see what this monument says. Stop. All right. In memory of John Helquist, 1952 to 1995, remember our friend in places like this. His work will live for generations in the many recreation areas and trails of Minnesota State Forest. Wow. Very cool. All right. Onward. This right here is our bathroom tent. <laughs> and while you are going, you get to stare out at this. Tell me that's not incredible. Now, here's the actual nuts and bolts, so to speak. We use a little bucket toilet like this. You wrap the bag around the toilet seat like so. See, got your toilet paper. Have some water to wash up and that's how you do it this is the time where you guys leave
So now that this fire is uh, taking off, I'm gonna head inside and prep our food. We're gonna have some brats tonight, super easy. One of these is about to fall. Hope I can finish cooking it before that happens. Dang it. Oh, that's a shame. I'm gonna see if I can cook one more up real quickly. Thank you for this food. Thank you for a great day. Just a beautiful spot. It's mm. Cheers. Cheers. Beautiful morning. Oh, the air is like super fresh, really crisp. Feels great. <laughs> Pretty incredible. Wow. A little further. Why not? Scenery like this is also, to me, what makes the North Woods so beautiful. It's also where I would like expect to see a moose up here. And we've got yet another lake. It's just incredible how many lakes we have here in Minnesota. It's unbelievable. We'll go down and take a look, but uh, 
I don't think I'm gonna stay very long. These bugs are, yeah, they're just killer. Oh my goodness. Whoa. Ha ha. All right, let's head back to uh, where the cabin's at. We literally just hit three lakes in a short little bike ride. It's pretty cool. All right, so for breakfast this morning, I'm gonna whip up some eggs with potatoes and onions, and I'm gonna to toss in some of the brats, some of the extra brats from last night. Thank you for this food. Well guys, for better or for worse, it's starting to get really hot in the cabin and that means we got a fire on the generator, which is a shame because listen, the sounds of nature are incredible, but it's just the way it goes, you know, with a, uh, with a newborn, there's certain things you gotta do to be safe. It's a small price to pay. The main thing I worry about is if other people are camping around here. Like, I would hate to, you know, disrupt their experience. But honestly, just a mere 50 yards away, you can't really hear it. So, so that's good. Go on, go on, in you go. Power her on. Should do air conditioning. Okay, thank you. Of course. All right, so we're gonna head out fishing. I am not a fisherman. Don't claim to be. Got all the supplies we need. We asked tips from, you know, my buddy Phil, also Riley's dad, who's a huge fisherman. Now I bought weights. I bought weights, but. I can't find them. And uh, Riley was really discouraged. She was like, oh. she was like, oh man. And then I thought to myself, <laughs> it's just got to sink, right? <laughs> so here's my weight. Good old fashioned screw. Can't tell me that thing's not going to sink. Rye's going to string up her pole next. Which weight do you want? A or, a or B. Hmm. These are not heavy enough. Oh yeah, they are. They aren't. Oh yeah, they are. This one for sure is heavy well, enough. Well, whatever one's the heaviest. All right, we'll do, we'll do this guy. Yeah, that's definitely heavy enough. Did I mention I'm not a fisherman? Did I say that yet? All right, so we're working with worms here. So here he is. Okay, I'm gonna put him on the hook. Let's see what happens. Hi, Seeker! Hi! I guess this is the waiting part, huh? Oh, so, so here. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, so you have to reel in the slack a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> and if my dad is watching, he's going to remember this. So on one of our fishing trips, 
<laughs> my dad didn't see me and <laughs> he went to cast the hook or cast the line and the hook he didn't see me behind him and the hook got stuck through my lip the whole trip he's like i caught a riley bass ha, ha, ha. <laughs> so, yeah that's a vivid memory of mine seems like an easy way to get a um lip piercing yeah believe it or not i had a lip piercing you guys at one point in my life yeah i still have the hole you can't see it right now i cannot picture you with the lip piercing oh, I had how's it. olivia doing are the bugs good yeah the bugs are, are not at, coming in no they're at bay guys super stoked Ellie and I are heading off to uh, do a little hike this afternoon we're doing so on the borderline trail which is super cool it's literally a hiking trail that straddles the border between the United States and Canada yeah here we go pretty sure this is the trail So we're gonna be heading to an overlook with just an incredible view, including views into Canada. Literally, we are on the border right now, so uh, it shouldn't be hard. <laughs> Looks like we got a little river down there. You know, guys, I, I don't usually talk about this on here, not for any real reason, but uh, I used to do a television show called Rock the Park where uh, I did stuff like this for a living for seven years. And uh, man, it feels good to be doing this again. So thank you guys for watching because you're the reason that I'm able to do this. and Canada border is off in this direction. So this is Ontario over here. And this is all Minnesota still. And if you look, I mean, look at that river. That river is just gorgeous. It's so fat right now. And uh, it's so sprawling. It looks like a, a river you'd see out west. This is Minnesota, you guys. downright dangerous. <laughs> what do you say, Al? Should we back away? I think we probably should. Yeah, yeah. No, let's, let's stay up here. We've been hiking about an hour on the trail. Been gone a little bit more than that from the cabin. I think we better get back. We made it, Al. Good girl. ourselves tonight and head into town and see if we can get a little bite to eat. But first we got to turn off this generator. Okay. I still just cannot get over how incredible this campsite is. You ready? Okay.
Oh, they're closed. That's such a bummer. That really is sad. Grand Marais. We'd have to. I mean, I think it's another 25 minutes or so. We could do it. Thank you. I appreciate it. You're welcome. I love Grand Marais. I really do. It's really cool. It's like you feel like you're in a seaside town, but it's a lake. Look at this. Doesn't this look like the ocean, you guys? Yes. Oh wow. my gosh. All right. Wow. We're going to get out and take a look at the beach quick. It's probably going to be cold. I did not bring a jacket. Just starting things off by whipping up some breakfast here. Then uh, today's a shower day, so we're gonna go uh, set up our shower, take some showers, and then we're gonna head to Grand Portage, right on the border with Canada. Um, there's an amazing waterfall there. Um, some other stuff we're gonna check out. Get out. This is my breakfast. Some trail mix. I don't know. I just like usually a quick light breakfast and that's still healthy. So a little bag of trail mix is perfect. We are running our generator because uh, we have to recharge our batteries inside the cabin, our power station. But also we, uh, we use air conditioning because uh, little Olivia can't regulate her body temperature yet, and so we gotta keep it nice and cool in there. It's kind of a bummer hearing the engine running sometimes, but uh, we don't use it all day, and uh, it's just, you know, what you gotta do when you have a newborn. It's a very small price to pay for having her out here with us. All right, so we're gonna set Kit on the ground here, and hang our water heater right here. And then the shower head itself clips up here, and uh, this is your, your shower area. You'll have full on-demand hot water with this bad boy. And honestly, we kind of have unlimited water with the lake, so this is uh, a real treat. All right, here All right. All right enjoy. Mommy gets a shower. It's a little bit of luxury out here, right? There she goes. <laughs> yeah. That was incredible. It felt good. Oh my gosh. Hot water. You, I really take hot water for granted. Like that was incredible. It feels good, right? Mm -hmm. All right, it's my turn. Now I have to fill up the water jug, which means I'm probably gonna get eaten alive while I do it. 
Oh my god. Oh, they got my butt! Oh. Holy cow, right? This is incredible. We did not know about this. No. Something grand to see. <laughs> Holy cow, we are high up. Wow. What a what a gem we stumbled upon. Oh, that was so incredible. So we're actually gonna venture a little closer to the border. I have to imagine there's a place where they let you turn around if you're not trying to go. Yeah. Yeah, it's not like we're gonna get detained. Yeah. That's silly. Oh no, we're gonna have to turn around here. Is this it? Yeah. <laughs> Good. Yeah, so look, there's the welcome to Minnesota sign right there. There's the border right there. That's the border crossing. Here's Grand Portage State Park. So this must be where the waterfall is. All right, we're on our way to the falls. Yay! Excited. Olivia's awake. <laughs> Small. Pines. Oh, it's the best. It smells so good. Mm. I'm starting to hear some moving water. But Ellie's like, I want to go in. I know, she wants to swim so bad. No, 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 Al. One, two, three. All right, we got her. On to the falls. Wow. is crazy. Yeah, so I was just saying it's funny, the people sitting over on that side, they're in Canada right now. Yeah. <laughs> that guy over there is in Canada. <laughs> yep. It's pretty cool. It's a waterfall. It's a big waterfall. <laughs> She's so mesmerized. Such a sweetheart. Wait. So 
after seeing the waterfalls, we tried to see if there was anywhere to eat and we weren't able to find anything. So uh, we're just heading back to the cabin, which I'm excited for. I think you said you're gonna go kayaking, right? Oh yeah, at sunset. Yeah. Ooh, you guys check this out. We're driving through an old growth forest. Um, what that means is <laughs> these are really, really old trees. Now what's great is, is that it says over 185 years old this sign was probably made like, I don't know, it could have been made 40 years ago. So these could be well over 200 years old, these trees here, which is really, really cool. This one's really big over here. Mm -hmm. Gonna get out? I just wanna touch it. Okay. Give it a hug. Be a tree hugger. There you go. <laughs> wow, this is so incredible. Home. Sweet home. Yeah. Gotta start up the generator, unfortunately. She just kicked on all by herself. That's pretty good. Seriously, does it get any better than this? I don't think so. Tonight's our last night. And uh, it's funny, you know, having been out here for uh, about a week at this point, you know, it's not that long, but it's long enough to really get used to it in a good way. I love it. I love being out of service. I love not being able to be reached or uh, be able to reach out to people unless I choose, you know? Like if we go into town. Um, I love looking at views like this. I love spending time with my family, my dog. It's just the best, it really is. It's amazing, isn't it? How there's just an island this close to shore. I think the reason you see so many islands in the lakes up here is due to volcanic activity in the past. But I could be wrong. Take a look at this hill off to the left. You can tell it's like a pretty steep hill because the trees, you can see we've got some pretty old trees as well. So for a second I thought this was another island because it almost looks like the water wraps around it on the right side there. But that's the shoreline and uh, it looks like the lake comes to an end. Now that we're close to shore, the mosquitoes have found us again. Let's get out of here.
All right, so I've got a bit of a cooking challenge tonight. Uh, we were gonna make burritos because I've cooked up earlier all of this ground turkey meat. Problem is we don't have any tortillas. So you could either do, you know, taco burrito bowls or you could utilize these tortilla chips that I have and make nachos. However, I'm gonna have to make these nachos over our stove. And so that's the challenge. So here's what I'm planning to do. I'm gonna fry all of our goodies up in a frying pan on the stove. Then I'm gonna use this bigger pot to layer the chips, goodies, cover it on low heat and see if we can melt the cheese and make some nachos. Oh yeah, all right, that's looking good to me. And if the cheese is that melted on the top, I have to imagine all the layers are melted perfectly. Ooh, a lot of hot sauce. A lot of hot sauce? I need salt, is there salt in there? <gasps> Drink it, oh no. What was your favorite part of the trip? The waterfall. The waterfall? The waterfall was my favorite part. Um, just going on that hike as a family, it was also a first for Olivia too. I love just being out here. It's just so peaceful. Like to have a, a cabin that we're able to just park next to a lake and then we can pack it up and take it somewhere new, you know? Let's ask Olivia what her favorite part is. Olivia, what's your favorite part? The big waterfall. The big waterfall. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. There you have it. Almost a week off grid with our newborn baby on the border with Canada, deep in the north woods of Minnesota. It certainly wasn't easy. The bugs were atrocious. We're navigating being new parents and having a baby out in the woods of all places. But we learned so much and made memories that we're gonna cherish for the rest of our lives. Thank you guys so much for coming along on this journey with us. I hope you enjoyed the video and we'll see you on the next one.